This is Total Telecom TV at Mobile World Congress on the ZT stand with Cloud Hun. 5G is like the hottest topic at Mobile World Congress. With the advent of 5G, what are the biggest challenges facing fibre networks? Mm, okay, uh, when we talk about 5G technology, mostly we talk about 5G radio, but uh, uh, the 5G transmi transmission is also important. LTE RAM have two loyal architecture, RU and BBU. The transmission distance is very short. One BBU connect, connect several RUs through bare fibers. Uh, but 5G RAM become a three loyal network with AAU, DU and uh, CU. So the 5G transmission has front hole, middle hole and uh, back hole. The biggest change is in the front hall, which is between AAU and DU. Uh, DU will be centered deployed in access office. If we use bio fiber uh, collect AAU and access office, the amount of fibers will increase with 10 to 100 times. This is the biggest challenge of 5G transmission. What are your opinions and, and solutions to address the 5G front hall problem? Mm. We believe that uh, WDMPAN is a good answer. First, WDMPAN is a point to multi point technology. One trunk fiber from access office can connect with several AUs. It will save a lot of trunk fibers. Secondly, WDMPAN has Wavelengths for each AU, which is point-to-point -point architecture logically. It uh, supports up to 25G bandwidth for 5G EMBB and 90Z with 5G URL scenario. Certainly, uh, if we use WDM Pong, there is only one hop connection between AU and Access Office. But if you use RAN network, uh, we, will have, we, we need uh, several st stops. So, uh, WDM Pang uh, is a loyal latency technology. Uh, fourth, WDM Pang provides a beta network management. Uh, Pang talk technology had an uh, advantage of easy operation and uh, easy maintenance. Based on WDM Pang technology, we enhanced the performance for 5G front hall. Titan, our uh, new star product, provide fast TDM like channel for 5G front hall. It can, it will shorten the time for the data processing by 70 percent. Within five kilometers around the access office. We only need 90, it's less than 40 mUs. GPON is a major access technology for FTTH and WDMPON is suitable for 5G front hall. Does it mean that fixed mobile convergence can be achieved in the network access segment? Hmm. Yes, we believe 5G front hall and uh, FTTH will be con converged. Uh, 10G Pang and WDM Pang are similar technology. Uh, also, they will de be deployed in the same location. Uh, it is easier to have 10G Pang and WDM Pang in one product. Uh, this can save space, uh, simplified management and improved network utilization. Titan is uh, such a product. It can support 10G Pang and uh, WDM Pang together. Uh, by the same time, Titan support built-in MEC. Here, MEC means multi-service edge computing, not just uh, mobile edge computing, because we can provide computing ability both for mobile and uh, fixed services. 
What is ZTE's recent progress in XG PON and WDM PON? Can you share with us ZTE's plans for 2018? Mm. Uh, ZTE keeps the leading position in TNG PON, uh, ranked number one in marketing share. Last uh, September, ZTE promoted and pushed the standard of 5G front hole with PON in ITUT. And last month, we have completed the R&D of 10G WDM PON on Titan to support 5G front hole. Uh, we are the first one to achieve that. Uh, in this year, we will finish the test and the try of 25G WDM PON and uh, make it commercial ready. So, it is real prepared for 5G era. Great news. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you.